Well, John was in Jarhead. He did four lines in Jarhead, and and he before he did the office, and he was clearly something special. I thought. Um, I just thought this that kid's going. He's going to go places. I sound like something terrible and cliche, but anyway, <laughs> I, um, I I really did. I thought he was just great, funny, and smart, and he improvised. We had two days with him, and I just got it. I rewrote both scenes with him. I just said, oh, let's, let's maybe we can do better than this, and he was just fantastic. Uh, so when I read it, and, and then he did The Office, and then he did Letterheads, and I thought, oh, this is great. He's becoming someone I could cast in the lead, you know. So when I read it, it just he sprang straight to mind because of the description of the part in the script. And I thought, well, that sounds just like Krasinski. And sure enough, you know, he, he wanted to do it. Maya, I, it was David Bendler who said, well, what about Maya Rudolph? And I said, but, you know, she does something. I mean, you know, she's great. I love her. She's hilarious. But, you know, is she an actress? And, and so I met her, and she, she came in. Uh, I don't know if you've met her yet. Have you met her yet? No, not yet. She's just a complete delight. And she, she walks in, and you just think, oh, how lovely. I, I really like being with you. <laughs> a lovely woman. She's so warm and so and so wise, and she has this sort of still, calm center. She's the opposite of what you can normally get for a, from a comedian, you know. Well, that's because she's not really a good... She's, she's, she's different. She's not your average. She doesn't have that thing that, you know, wanting to please and constantly doing shtick or, you know, there's no obvious insecurities. She's just a really warm, wise person. And um, she uh, she picked up the script and I said, well, let's read a bit. She read and literally, like two sentences in, I thought, well, you know, you're her. I mean, you're grown. That's who she is. I mean, you, there was something about her that was just perfect. For her. Then it was the job was about getting them together and making them into a credible couple. Um, and uh, because John's younger and John's used to playing the kind of, you know, in the office he's the guy when they're all going crazy around him, he looks at the camera and goes, aren't these people all crazy, basically. Um, but here he was playing the character who, who is the more extrovert of the two. <laughs> and Maya, on the other hand, is used to doing these high definition comic performances and here she's the character who's just at sea level the whole time, trying to, you know, grounding the movie. And so I had to recalibrate them together that made them feel comfortable doing stuff that they're not used to doing. But you were also taking a gamble on two novice screenwriters, so was the screenplay there before you came on board, or what was the process? Mostly, yeah, mostly. It, it had a, a different ending, um, uh, and you know, it, it, it was, but the spirit of it was there, and the characters were wonderful, and uh, a lot of the jokes. Um, and uh, and I just felt I could take it that extra little way because knowing how great a writer Dave is and, and knowing you know how wonderful a writer Vendler is, I just thought well they're going to be capable of writing what's necessary to take this to the next level, you know, um, and they were, you know, so it, it wasn't that difficult to a decision once I made the leap. Did you change the ending on page before you shot? On page, yeah. They changed the ending. I said, look, I'll do this, but I don't, do you think the ending works? They said, no, 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 we want to change the ending. Um, you know, we're going, to, we're going to do it differently. So so they, they just they just rewrote it, and it was absolutely right. exactly as you, read, as you see on screen. American Beauty, you actually cut the ending. That was in post, yeah. That, that was a whole different thing, because that, that was something that we shot and then changed in post, but this is, this is what we shot. There's one thing that I find interesting in the, in the storyline of the movie, because at one point they ask themselves, are we fuck-ups? 
and then it looks like the rest of the movie is trying to prove that theory wrong. Uh, is that the case, or, or, or am I just imagining the things here? Trying to trying to prove them wrong, so yeah, they're not fair exactly. By showing like, case, no, you're in not, the you're rest not that wrong. Actually, no, I think that I think that you know, you know, it, it's not. It, I mean, that that's a mind they speak to each other, not to the audience. You know, I think that they say. I think everyone, you know, generationally, when you reach your thirties and you, you know, your job is a little shaky and you don't know parents yet and you don't really not really sure about where you live or where you belong, that sense of insecurity enters in and, and um, you know you start judging yourself by other people's standards and I think we live in a world where you're confronted constantly by other people's lives, you know, um, constantly. You know, you, Directly, you know, I mean, the celebrity culture, you know, the reality television culture, you know, you can enter, I don't know, whether it's the Osbournes or whoever, you know, you're, you're, you're in people's homes, you know, and people say, well, I want that, that's what I want, I want that life. It's so, it's so close, it's so I can touch it, I can smell it, you know, it's very frustrating when you can't get it. And I think that it's about, you know, um, not wanting to play by the rules, you know, the, the, the movie not necessarily defining success in family or life by other people's standards, but only by your own. And I think that that's important, because, you know, I think that people are aspiring to things, um, you know, it's like, it's like the American Idol or whatever, it's like any kind of fame-seeking fame TV show. You know, I used to meet actors when I was starting out the theatre, and they would say, you know, I want to do... I, I want to, I want to, you know, do movies, or I want to do Shakespeare, or whatever. And it was clear, you know, I want to do contemporary work. Now they say I'd like to be famous, you know. And you say, well, what do you want to be famous for? And they say, I don't mind. <laughs> and that's like, well, then go back and start thinking about it again, you know. Because I mean, you know, there's lots of ways. When you turn up to a movie premiere with no clothes on, and you'd be famous. But is that sort of fame you want? What does it mean?